Hi guys, Master Richard here from All Rise Martial Arts. Today I'm going to take you through the basic Taekwondo strikes that I teach for all of my Green Tiger students. Starting off with basic jab and cross punches, we're going to be in a fighting stance. Our jab is typically going to correspond with our front arm and our front leg. A jab punch is going to be a quick extension of our front arm as a punch. My cross punch is going to correspond to my rear arm and my rear leg from fighting stance. And this is going to be a little bit more of a rotation. My shoulder is turning, my hip is turning, even my back foot is slightly pivoting as I throw this strike. Your cross is usually going to be your stronger punch. Facing forward, you can see that these punches have the same kind of twisting motion that we do in our horse riding stance punches. So that as I extend my punch, my hand is turning over, palm facing down. I want to try to keep my elbows close to my body, even as I'm punching. I don't want to make a chicken wing motion. So you can try on your own just basic jabs and basic crosses, and then eventually you can add them together as a combination. Jab, cross, jab, cross. If you switch foot, if you switch side in your fighting stance, now your jab is going to be on the other side. So whichever foot is in front, that jab arm is going to be in front, and you can do the same combination on the other side. Jab and cross. Next up, we'll take a look at push kick. This is very similar to front snap kick, but instead of pointing my toes forward, I'm going to pull my toes so that they're pointing up towards the ceiling. If we're in a fighting stance using my back leg, I'll chamber my knee up, pull my toes up towards me, kick forward with my bottom foot, rechamber my knee, and step back down. A little bit faster, it looks like this motion. Push and back down. Try a couple times on one side, and then you can try it on the other side. If I switch foot, it's the same idea. Pushing forward, boom, and rechambering. Sometimes I tell my students to imagine that they're pushing a door open with their foot, but please don't actually open doors with your kicks. That is push kick. Our next two kicks kind of go hand in hand with each other. So if I start in a fighting stance, I can do inside crescent kick or I can do outside crescent kick. Using my back leg, inside crescent kick kicks up and an arcing motion inward. It's kicking with the inside line of the foot right around where the big toe is. So again, inside crescent kick. You can try a couple times on your own. Remember to land in a fighting stance. I want to avoid kicking and then crossing my legs afterwards. I want to try to kick and land behind me. Outside crescent kick is the same idea, kind of in rewind or in reverse. I'm kicking forward and then I go to the outside. This is now going to kick with the pinky edge of my foot, the outside of my foot. So outside crescent kick. My foot is arcing outward. Again, try a couple on your own and land in a fighting stance. If I switch foot, the rules are still the same. My inside crescent kick kicks inward and my outside crescent kick kicks outward. You can do these kicks on their own or you can do them back to back. Those are inside and outside crescent kick. And those are all of our green tiger striking techniques. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit like and subscribe below and come check us out at allrisema.com. I'm Master Richard and have a great day.